We're continuing to learn more about the two men killed after possibly being electrocuted earlier this week in Atlanta. One of the men's family told us the two friends were renovating a home at the time, a job that both of them were very passionate about. Our Nick Sturdivant spoke with the family of one of those men and has more on what happened that night. Terrell Cheatham's family describes him as a hard worker, but his wife Katura says he's best known for being a great friend, husband, and father. This is our oldest son, Xavier, and uh, Terrell Jr., and our daughter, Gabrielle Cheatham, always smiling. He loved practical jokes, playing practical jokes. Um, just being here with, with us. He didn't really go hang out, he, he didn't. He was always, we were always together. She says the father of three worked for years as a subcontractor, renovating homes. He loved what he did, he had a passion for it. Often working with Maurice Hankerson. They, they were just good friends. Wednesday started out as any other day, both men working together on a home in Southeast Atlanta. I was actually in the house preparing dinner, um, waiting on him to return home. I spoke with him, um, I called him to see what time he was coming home. Uh, he said, I'll be home, I'm just getting ready to finish up some things on the job site. But that was the last time she spoke with Terrell. Atlanta police were called to the home on Crumley Street Southeast later that night. When they arrived, they found the men unconscious and not breathing. Investigators think the men were possibly electrocuted while on the job. We're told there were no power lines down in the area. Both Terrell and Maurice died at the hospital. We are trying, to, still in shock. Right now, to have uh, my family around, uh, it means the world. And if he was here, <laughs> if he was here, it would mean the world to him. Heartbreaking for that family. Now, the Fulton County Medical Examiner has not released an official cause of death for both men. Cheatham's family is his funeral is set for next week. Family members have set up a GoFundMe page.